on YouTube, and now we're up to how to make a website part three. Getting your website to a domain hoster. Also, one thing I missed out with you guys on the Dream Weaver on the website tutorial part two. On the downloads tab, you're gonna have to highlight the home, change link, and link that to the index. Now, what's that gonna do is allow you to go back to the home page once you're on the download page. If you don't do that, your website could be messed up. Now I'm going to tell you how to put a YouTube video on your website. What you're going to want to do is go on YouTube.com or I guess anything that you could embed. I'll just go on my video. And right here where it says embed, you're just going to want to click it and click copy. Now once you click copy, you're going to want to put your cursor where you want the video to be. Go to the code tab up here and it should be where your cursor is. You're going to click paste, go to the design, click file, save, preview in Safari or whatever web browser you have and now you should have a YouTube video right there where you put your cursor. Alright, now we're finally going to get to putting your site on the web. If you want a paid, if you want a paid domain, I suggest going to www.godaddy.com. What this is going to take you to is a website that can give you a .com, .tv, .net, .org, all those dots. <laughs> and you're going to have to pay $10 a year. Um, I'm not going to get into that. You're going to need your credit card. They accept PayPal. So that's good. That's what I have hosting my website. But I'm not going to get into that. You could watch a video on how to do it, but it's not going to be in this. In this, I'm going to show you how to put it on Freewebs. What you want to do, you're going to want to go to freewebs.com. And what you're going to have to do after you've done that is register or... um make an account, pick a site address, blah blah blah, blah. create a password, blah blah, blah 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 create a website, site title, blah 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 email address, has to be a real one select a year, 1970, just in case for your age, select the gender that's how easy it is to make a website, all you have to do is that, nothing else is asked alright, now um, what you're going to want to do is on the search bar you have to type in CSS search now it's going to give you this custom CSS that has to be your template I agree to the terms of service and create my site usernames can only include letters I'm sorry jeez <laughs> there you go it's loading longer so now we're going to click select under the no cost start building my own website but this guys is going to be completely blank um, now what we have to do is over here it's going to say exit to site manager you're going to want to click that now where it says edit my site it should be a drop down and you're going to want to click on manage files now this is where it gets fun uploading the files <laughs> You're going to have to go to Single File Uploader and choose each file single handedly. First, the default.css. I shouldn't say first because it doesn't have to be in any particular order of what files you upload first. D upload all your tabs. I uploaded the download tab. And finally, upload the index tab, the most important. You don't have to upload the license, that's just going to mess it up. But I'm not sure what it's going to do. Now once you've got all your tabs and all the things uploaded, you're going to want to click on Add a Folder. Now once you've done that, you're going to want to name this folder Images and click Save. In that folder, you're just going to want to click it like that. Go to Single File Uploader and choose, go in your Image folder and choose all the images and upload every image. If your website came with a default image that you deleted in Dreamweaver. It's still going to be in your image folder, but you don't have to add that onto the file uploader. So just skip it and go to the next one. 
um, the spacer. Um, you have to add the spacer, even though it's a blank image, you still have to add it. I don't know why, but it just does something. Now, once you've uploaded all the files, you don't have to click save or anything. FreeWebs is going to automatically upload it, and you just have to click view my site. And boom, there it should be, your website. You click on the downloads tab, you got your YouTube video right here. Click back, you can navigate back to home. Joe Gas, welcome to my site. And it's that easy. I just made a website and within let's say twenty five minutes maybe, fifteen. It sounds long, but it's not. Alright guys. Well thanks for watching this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. I also want to get one thing out there. Um I am not going to I am going to. I'm going to be making more videos about, you know, widgets you can add and stuff like that. Extra videos. But thanks for watching. And my next video is going to be changing the website name to Besides a Free Web's Domain. So, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And remember, guys, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Alright guys, thanks for watching.